Okay, so welcome again to Military Guna TV. Thank you guys for joining me. And let's see, let me check it first. Today is the sec the, the 5th of October, Tuesday. Now, if you're in Jamaica, you know the conditions. Bleaky, bleaky Tuesday morning. And <laughs> I'm, I'm sure, I'm 100% sure a lot of you guys don't want to go to work this morning. I'm 100% sure about that. No one wants to go to work on these morning, these types of morning. But thank you very much, guys, for joining me. Really, really appreciate it. Now we're going to speak about Ravel Morrison's omission. This won't be a long one, maybe 10 minutes, the maximum. This definitely won't be a long one. But big up coaches that's coming in early. Big up also photos of Jamaica. Now just going to give you guys basically a reaction, basically a reaction to um, what Theodore Whitmore said um, on his interview on um tvj sports so literally it's like a reaction speaking about it so um, i won't even waste any time what i want you guys to do make sure that you smash the like button and ensure that if you're here for the first time hit that subscribe button as well we're going to have a try a good one <laughs> coach is said we just have prior meeting <laughs> yeah this is the new look yeah this is the new look this is the new look coach but big up um this so basically as i said if you're in jamaica you know the morning very very bleaky i'm in portmore so possible this is the last place the rain or start fall the last last place when the rain are tearing the whole of jamaica portmore hot hot blazing hot blazing blazing hot even when hurricane are blowing the whole of jamaica portmore stands still <laughs> it's on turn up but we go straight tonight people we're not, we won't waste any time but people um let's let's get straight into it now i i know for for a fact that most of you guys are no all right the thing with ravel marson is this ravel marson is a well-loved player right across the board well loved every single um fan love ravel marson so these are some of the quotes <clears throat> These are some of the quotes. I'm going to start from um, from the first one. These are some of the quotes from Tapa Whitmore, when, what he said in the interview. Let me know, guys, if you're seeing it clearly. I want to know if you're seeing it clearly. Um, so basically, the, what he said is, he said, it was a tough decision when we know the quality that Ravel Marson brings to the team. It was a tough decision because we know what Ravel Marson brings to the team. Then he said, I think we have some challenges where squad, um, squad size is concerned. Being only allowed 23 players for the squad. We have already spoke up, spoken about um, how much players can be, um, can, can, be in, um, can be in the squad. We have already discussed that. Now, he's now saying that 23 players only in the squad so basically it's a tight knit squad so they have to pick and choose players carefully it's a tight knit squad so they have to pick and choose players carefully players that are equipped to fill certain criteria and all these factors so that's the direction that he was going someone said they're not seeing it clearly really oh i i do apologize alan so definitely um so he he said that because of her, um how close the the, 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 oh, the 23 man squad it's like it's 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 making an impact in what they want to do so that's what he said literally now let me move to um something else that he said let's get to the next one that he said he said um hopefully everyone is seeing this at that point we won't have a ravel morrison and the anthony grant for the USA game. Now, when he said Rafael, Rafael Marson, basically he's contextualizing both of them because we know we won't have them for the USA game. It is an issue. But in the long run, we still won't have Rafael Marson. We will have Anthony Grant for the rest of the fixtures, but we won't have Rafael Marson for the rest of the fixtures. Now, the last point that he, he rested on was this. Um, Ravel is an important player for the unit. I'm paraphrasing the unit as the team in all aspect. Paraphrasing the unit as a team in all aspect. And so he's saying that Ravel Morrison is an important player for the team. 
But at times, we have to make tough decisions. Now, we could ask the questions, what are the tough decisions? What are the, what are the tough decisions that you would have to make in a situation like this? Now, the tough decision that you would have to, that Tapa Whitmore would make in this, um, this um, um, situation would actually to leave Ravel Morrison. And that is a tough decision. And the last thing he said on the interview was the decision to leave out Ravel Morrison all boils down to coach's decision. Now, he lists out all of these factors prior to. Then he said that the decision to leave out Ravel Morrison is coaching a decision. The mission of the squad is coaching decision. So there's, there's a lot to take from it. There's a lot to take from it. But what I want to say is this. We know for a fact that we are having serious, and I mean serious midfield issues. Serious midfield issues. And if you are going to leave out, all right, let, <clears throat> you know what I'm going to do, guys? What I'm going to do is this. I'm going to run through all of the midfielders that are that, 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 that was listed on the list. Oh, I'm going to list out all of the midfielders. So I'm going to go straight back to, oh, to the squad, the squad announcement. I'm going to go straight back to the squad announcement and list out all the midfielders. Ooh, people, as you guys know, I do a lot of updates on a day-to-day -day basis, a lot of updates on all the single players. That's the reason why all the still guys follow my socials because I do I do a lot more updates on my socials than even on, 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 on the YouTube. Let me see. I'm trying to find... Okay, good. Now, let's look at this midfield. I'm bringing up the midfield, people. I'm bringing up the midfield. You know what? I won't be long, so let me just... I'm bringing up the midfield people. So I'm going to drop the link because I won't be long. I'm telling you guys, I won't be long. I have big issues to go on work. So I just dropped the link people. So if you want to come on, let's let's just discuss this for a short time period. No, because I, I can't go over a hour. I cannot go over a hour. Um, let's look at the midfield. No, the decision to leave up Ravel Morrison. Um, it's a coaching decision, right? Now, when you look at these factors now, so Daniel Johnson's out. Literally, Daniel Johnson's at the top of the list in which he's our best midfielder in this list. Daniel Johnson is out. Devon Speedy Williams is there. Javon Watson is there. Bob Reed is there. Juna Flemings, Kemar Roof, Jamalo, Tyrek McGee. Now, let's have a look at the midfield. The mid field set up the midfield set up out of all of these players out of all of these players as a midfielder i can you i can be wrong i can be wrong so let me use it from my perspective from my point of view if you guys agree you can just type agree in the comment section if you guys agree just type agree in the comment section comment section my perspective is that ravel morrison as a complete midfielder supersede all of these players on the list as a midfielder as a complete midfielder box to box midfielder and number 10 a box to box midfielder let's say daniel johnson might have a little bit more skill set in regards to the creative ability um going forward but as a complete midfielder ravel Morrison has it all and he's he would supersede all of these midfielders central midfielders i'm not talking about cdm i'm not talking about the central defensive midfielder I'm talking about on a scale of what he can bring to the team. Now, now, let's have a look at this now. Say we're going to play a double pivot, right? Let's take, a, for example, we're going to play a double pivot. For 100% for, for, for validity, we know for a fact that a double pivot, we, we need a, a central defensive midfielder. So, Javon Watson is a sure starter. He's sure for the squad. Javon Watson is sure. Now, Let's look at let's look at the other midfielders now. Devon Speedy Williams, yes, he can play in a double pivot. But if you had this, the, the opportunity for a double pivot to use either Tyreek McGee, double pivot enough, you know, Tyreek McGee, 
or a Devon Speedy Williams or a Ravel Morrison, I am sure most of you guys would have chosen I would have chosen um, Ravel Morrison because he's a boxer box. He can get the job done in the double pivot. Tyre McGee, you won't get that much defensive work. I'm not saying the Ravel Morrison is a defensive player, but we know Ravel Morrison can do. He as a boxer box player. You won't find Tarek Maggi coming so deep in the in, in the defensive third to connect play, um, to, to link up play and progress the ball. As I said, Tarek Maggi and Robert Morrison are two different players. One is a connector, one is a ball progressor. One is a connector, one is a ball progressor. So no, the connector is Tarek Maggi. He links up play, link up play um, with, the, with, the, with the attack in front. The ball progressor is Ravel Morrison. There's a reason why Robert Morrison always drops so deep to retrieve the ball because he's a ball progressor. He goes where the ball is, retrieve the ball, and try to bring the ball forward. Either he breaks, he breaks the line by dribbling, breaks the line by dribbling, or um, uh, by beating the press by a, a ball over the top or something like that. No, you won't find Terry Maggie coming that deep to provide that much support. Uh, so we have someone here on, on, on the panel. Um, Big up, Fabian. So he's, he's, a, he's a ball progressor and definitely. So for me personally, if, if Tapa Whitmore says that this aspect of what is happening with the team in regards to him, the omission of Ravel Marson, with the, regards to the omission of Ravel Marson as his doing and responsibility, that this is a coach's decision. If it's a coach's decision, you must can say that He's not performing enough at club level. Or you haven't seen much of him that he would add to the team. That is basically what he's saying. That is basically what he's saying. He didn't see much of Ravel Morrison to, to, to verify that he would add something to the team if it's a coach's decision. Now, if you said, okay, we have issues with the player, fine, we'd have no problem. But he blatantly said that it is coach's decision and nothing else. And nothing else. So, um, <clears throat> definitely, cause for worry now because we know that for a fact that before, before this, before this, we had serious issues with the midfield. Now we are out. We are not out. Um, we don't have some of our best midfielders. We have played against USA with the likes of um, <clears throat> Ekta in the midfield, Devon Watson in the mid, um, um, Devon Williams in the midfield, and also um, Daniel Johnson in the midfield. We played with three of them, Hector, Daniel Johnson, and, and, and Speedy Williams. With three of them in the midfield, and they couldn't cope with the USA team. They couldn't cope with a lot of the games. Now, how are we going to thrive with, um, it's going to be difficult to thrive with the likes of um, Javon Watson, and Devon Williams, and Atarik McGee. It's going to be difficult. Without, it's going to be difficult. The work rate, what we're going to require in that particular game, we won't have it. Um, we have I've seen Ravel Marson at, at, at Derby County taking up the game by himself, putting in great performance, putting in solid, solid performance. So it's not like we've never seen him putting in these type of performances. What's up, Fabian? Good yeah, morning, morning, military, morning, everybody. So um, what's, what's <clears> your, what, the question is, you know, what is your take on Tapa Whitmore saying that the decision to leave out the player is his own? All right, so two things that I realized, and I just realized it this morning since I put up the squad of midfielders. All right, Tapa saying that he, he left out Rafael for footballing reasons, it just shows the caliber of coach that we have. If you are picking a squad, you have to include Ravel Morrison. If you're picking a 6v6, a 6 aside squad, Ravel is the first name on the team sheet. If you're picking a 3 a team, 3 three man squad, Ravel still would make that squad. That is how good Ravel is right now. So I don't understand that being, it, uh, it's a personal decision, yes, but it's not one that is based on football in reasons, as we all know. Mm -hmm. Another thing, when you just pull up the midfielders, uh, I don't know if it's, it's just me alone realize that in this list of midfielders, we only have two central midfielders. So basically, in midfield, we only have um, Javon Watson and um, Devon Williams. If any one of them injured, one. one of them, God forbid, one of them injured, what will happen? We're gonna put, put a winger in that central midfield position. <laughs> and and again, I, I'm I'm saying all of this to say that 
he said that he left him out because of squad number issues, yet he has brought three right backs. Ah. Uh-huh. Understand? You understand where I'm going with the conversation? Yeah, yeah. They're saying your squad is tight, but you bring three right back, but <laughs> only call two central midfielders. One of them almost 40, not playing any professional football, not in any good shape at all, and going to put him against a USA team. That will run. McKinney. That USA midfield will run. McKinney is hungry right now to get some international football. He will run. So God forbid what happens if a, a Speedy Williams gets injured. Because and then Daniel is not there. So mm-hmm. you have Bobby Reed, who is a winger. Well, predominantly a winger. Bobby Reed can play in the 10. Kemar Roof, predominantly a winger. Again, that can play in the 10. Jamal is a forward. Mm-hmm. All right, another winger. And then we have Maggie, who is a, a, an attacking midfielder. And then you have Ravel, who could play as a number 8 or a number 10, and you leave him out of the team. So basically, Tapa is just forcing, I think he's forcing Javan Watson into the team. That is my belief, because we don't have any choice but to start Javan. Javan has to start on Half Thursday. Start. We don't yeah, have any, yeah. we don't have any other option. The option he has to one. start on Thursday. Watson has to start, and I think that is... That is extremely poor of the JFF, not just Tapa. It is extremely poor that we have so many talented footballers and we are turning to a 39-year-old who is not playing in the professional league to play in the, in the heart of midfield. And we have so many good footballers out there mm-hmm. that can play better than this. Information that I have received, reliable <laughs> receive, is that J- what Javan Watson brings to the squad is togetherness, camaraderie. And those factors. That's what that, that, that that's what it, that's the information that I've, that I've got. And I, you know, <laughs> that information there, me hundred percent, hundred percent sure said that that, that 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 is the reason. One hundred percent sure that is the reason. To got to togetherness and camaraderie. Yeah, but that is important, you know. But what are we going to do? Call up Javan Watson until he's sixty. Yeah. We have to move on at some well, point so and that find case, somebody else. If that is the case, then we have we have a captain. We have a captain in in, in Andrea Blake. We have a, a vice captain in Damian Law. What are their work role then? If there's we have to call someone out outside of um the program just to, to just bring to bring them. the team together. That means that means that we lack leadership in the, in the dressing room. That is what he's saying. That, that I mean, this is just, as I said, just an excuse, just an excuse, just an, an, an excuse. And I don't I don't understand. I mean, I know Watson will start because right now we don't have any option but to start Watson. I am just praying for the love of God that Watson, shame all away and have a wonderful game. I am. It is unlikely, but I am praying that that is what happens because That's right now. And, and and the funny thing, I am not really afraid of USA. I'm not. I've seen them play in the in the in the first three games. They don't look good. They ah, don't look is, as they should look. What is your take on this? What is your take on this? Ravel is an important player to the um for the unit, which is the team I mentioned. But at times we have to make some tough decisions. If he's an important player, and the tough decision is to leave him out, is he that important then? That that is a bunch of crap. All of that is just a bunch of crap. Don't, don't listen to that with Tapase. Because if he's important, you, you wouldn't leave him out. There's no coach in the world right now who would have Ravel in their team and leave him out. Can't leave him out of the team. The greatest coach in history give Ravel praise. So I don't understand how our coach say, oh, we have to make tough decisions and then leave out Ravel. Then bring only two central midfielders and bring three right back. I don't understand it. And see now, see Daniel Johnson not coming, Jan, Jamal Lowe not coming, Liam Moore not coming, Ethan Pinnock not coming. With all of those omissions, you still never bring Ravel? <laughs> no. You're, you're right, replacing those players with Continue local players? Information that I have received, you know, the chances of us seeing but Michael Ekta, you know, which is a loyal player to the squad, you know, is zero, you know. The Forget chance about of Hector. us seeing Michael Ekta again is zero. Is zero and remember, you know, Hector have come from far with the squad, you know, 
And if Hector now come back, you know. <laughs> He's but, not coming back. All right, so so basically, we can move away from the negativity now. We can move away from negativity because we have uh, 10 more minutes. We have 10 more minutes. Yes, I'll take a few questions. We have 10 more minutes. Take a few questions. People want well, to move away from the negativity now, people. They don't know, so we have to, we have to discuss these, these things. We have to discuss these things. Um, which I know, sir, I'm looking at, I'm looking at the comment section for something positive, you know? Somebody said, hit the like button. That, that, that's probably positive. <laughs> that's positive. So some people hit the like button, please. Um, big up, we have a lot of people in the comment section. Owen, Owen, one, one. Hey, the double name, you know, um, and, and Ketarak all is a fight, you know. <laughs> um, Giovanni Brown, Renil, big up everybody who come in. Jeros, top 10, Young Me, everybody. Massive, massive respect for everybody who always, always tune in. A lot of respect. Um, I trade you. So, basically, we know in position right now where things seem just as bleak as the sky out of the door in a Jamaica right now because there's a tropical depression <clears throat> over the Caribbean. It seems as bleak. So let's try see if we can pick some positives. So positives are, are like this. Um, positive are like this. Jamalo, Jamalo, um, um, Kemar Roof, Bobby Reed, and these guys. These guys arrive in the USA. So I'm not sure if you guys keep up to date with their Instagram posts. You will see that some these guys already in the USA and waiting to, 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 to start training session. Now, funny thing about that, USA started training session already, which is good on their part, but we arrived a bit earlier this time around. We can't complain now that we didn't get sufficient timing because some of the squad arrived. So we have to utilize that. We have to utilize that. Um, so let's see, let's see some of the positives. So Fabian, what are some of the positives you're looking forward to going into this game? It can't always be negative. There must be some form of positive. Um, the positives, I'm looking at the positives. Um, we have an excellent goalkeeper who is in form. Mm -hmm. So that should be a, a big, big plus. And we have two in form center forwards. Mm -hmm. So those are um, the positives we're looking at. Um, our front line is in form mm -hmm. again. So let, let's hope that our defense and our forward line can 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 cover the work for the midfield and we get a result in the game. Yeah, because I'm looking at it right now and say that. So Mikel Antonio in form, Kemar Roof in form. Let me see if I can find Kemar Roof picture. <laughs> Kemar Roof, Kemar Roof and Farm. So we have a lot of players on Farm. Kemar Roof already um, put it on his, his story that I'm saying back again. See the man here behind Kemar Roof, Ravel Morrison, um, Ethan Pinot behind um, Kemar Roof as well, Daniel Johnson. So you see the, the level of the type of players that we had prior to coming now. These are <laughs> without that and without that doubt, you know, the four, the three players them alone in this picture, you know, Kemar Roof, Ethan Pinot, Ravel Morrison, I'm just come off of Mikel Antonio. Any team in the world would want a lot of these countries would want these level or types of players in their squad. You now, just boss Bater got absent from the squad. Phoenix Academy, this man is scoring goal like crazy. Darren Mattox scoring goal like crazy. Um, Shaman Nicholson, let's get to Shaman Nicholson. Shaman Nicholson just coming back from injury, but not only that, coming back from injury with a goal and an assist, looking very, very sharp. Looking very, very sharp and, and, and hungry. Now, what is your take on the, 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 the starting lineup? Because we, are, we will be discussing this later, now, but I want to give, um, give a little small input on what to expect from you in regards to starting either. Because we know, I know what, Tapa loves to play 4 4 2. Love is 4 4 2 using two forward. Do you believe that? A player like Shaman Nicholson and Mikel Antonio, these guys are sole survivors. They play by themselves. And or do you believe that Tapa Whitmore will try to facilitate both of them at once? <laughs> if military, if we play 4 4 2, only Andre Blake can stop us from getting six. <laughs> Your man, man. <laughs> Your man. We tried it. We tried it against 
um, we tried it at the stadium, at the National mm -hmm. Stadium, and we see what happened. And this USA team is far, far more technical. They are a better quality team. So imagine what will happen if we try and play 4 4 2. I mean, it is a good problem for a coach to have. Mm -hmm. You cannot try. There's something called team balance. It makes mm -hmm. no sense to try and force Antonio to start with, with um, Shamar. Start one, bench one. Either way, go. It doesn't matter. We have three games back to back. Mm -hmm. I mean, rotate them. So mm -hmm. start one in this game, start depending on how the game works out. Then you can decide who to start in the next game. Or, or as a matter of fact, a good coach would analyze the opponent and look at his strengths and weaknesses of both center forwards and decide which game to start them in. All right. Min, um, Mister, Min, 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 Mister, Min, Min, uh, Yogo, now put the video in the comment section, right? Now put it in the, in the, in the community tab. You know, and my video no, is, me see it on YouTube, it's a video, it's a parody, um, a parody they call it, of, of the reggae boys. And in them, Dexter's Labs. Dexter's Labs. Link him on YouTube, on Instagram or something. If you do bad, if you do, me say if you do bad. The man say, in 99 man say because he pretend to be tougher with more, right? My pretend to be tougher with more. He man look on the UK players and I say, all right, gentlemen, we know say when you so on a fancy plane on a, um, on, a, on a unique, intelligent, smart football, the pretty football on a play, intelligent, smart and and, and, and tactical football. We know another that yes, <laughs> We know the man say we know another that yes, sir. Why if you take it ball and play land and go by it up. A man say, oh, a man score a goal, and man say, where just all go? Who tell us to score? Hey, go on, bench. Hey, if you don't, Mr. Video, hey, you know, favorite, Mr. Video, I put it in the comments. Yo, people, on a look out for video throughout the day. Now put the video in the comments, in the, in the comments tab, when I will see it. When I look for the video, a man say, all right, like a man in, 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 in Cinebo, a man say, all right, people, 440, a man say, people, a man them, 442 I formation. A man say, 442 are the formation. Is it the formation, yeah? With the band conceit, I will not deadly fit, me not change it. <laughs> that, that thing man say man say my band can't see it oh my god dead lefty lefty lef, lef. <laughs> I, I dead lefty I, 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 I guess I know no me not change it yo it tough it, it tough me say if it does tough if it does yeah it be tough man it man yeah man tough yeah man it be if it does tough but people guess what people me I go live again later me I do the preview later so tune into the preview later if anything me I get him on the show if anything, may I get the youth on the show? I would I, I will have a I will have a small discussion. If we can get him on the show, but may I talk to him, may I tell him to me I share it on my community tab because they don't know so we don't want to share it and we don't get him in, in, in right. So do it. So I got I'll go link him and share him. So people may I have to cut you now. <laughs> the video tough man say, oh when say he saw, he saw the video and it was it was it is funny and factual at the same time. That is the reason why it's so funny. <laughs> that is the reason the man say oh. On the UK ballers, on the European ballers, I mean, no sound love in a pretty football, I mean, no sound of skill and look tactical all and kind of something, something there. We know want that, yes, sir. And a soul play ball, yes, sir. That's all of that. <laughs> but big up, people, everybody who come in, massive respect, um, Fabian, for, for, for coming on because I have to cut you now. I have to run out you now. Thank you for coming on. Everybody who come on, um, everybody who's coming in, a lot of respect. Big up, big up, but people, I'm going to put it in the community tab on the lookout for the video. If you did nice, I will go live later. I will go discuss the video. As I said, I try to get the man from the, from the show. We see if we can chat about it. Only come up with the idea there. Only come up with the idea. I, I will run through it, making really, really decide to do a video like that. But if you don't talk, people, I'll see you again later. Massive respect, people. Nice having the talk, early man discussion. You know, uh, when they call it um, Kama Sutra, <laughs> to relax the mind. Big, big up, people. Everybody, tune in. Um, the name of my video, somebody asked me for the name of my video. I've got to try to find it. I sent it in a couple of groups. Well, you know, me. I've got to try to find it. The name, the reggae coach. The reggae, the, the, the name of my video is the reggae coach. Um, in the whole different skits, you know, but this I want to catch me because I know that associated with me. Um, the, the, the name of my video is the reggae coach and the bracket of reggae boys national coach. And then no equal, and then he said, um, close bracket, the comedy, the comedy skit. So go and check it out, people. And later, when we come, if you have my socials on link me, me DM me on Instagram or on Twitter, I will chat about it. That's how I'm telling you. Follow me on the socials, people. Follow me on the socials. 
Now also put the social link in the, 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 the comment tab so we can follow it up. People, soon again. Massive respect. Thank you for coming on. People, have a good day. If you're in Jamaica, day would be wet. Carry a water boat or your umbrella. <laughs> have a good day, people.